What's up, booze? What it do? What it do? Hey, what's up? I said, what's up, booze? What it do? What it do? Uh, 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 uh. Pop it, pop it, drop it, stop it. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. Welcome to Ain't Nicole Tarot. <laughs> I'm your girl, Ain't Nicole. And I am back to deliver another general reading for the collective. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Um, thank y'all so much for y'all's likes, y'all shares, um, y'all's comments, y'all's words of affirmation, y'all love. Thank y'all for hitting my tip jar. I really appreciate the cash apps um, and the PayPal tips for real. Like, I, I, I fuck with y'all. Thank you so much. Um, I want to start off by saying that... Uh, this is a general reading. It's not a one-to-one. -one. Meaning, what I say, it may or may not resonate. Or it may resonate in another, you can switch the energies, you know? So if it, if it applies, you know, in a, in a different dynamic, put it in that dynamic, you know? I'm, I'm picking up on general energy. So um, when I say that, it's not always going to pinpoint connect straight to you because everybody's motherfucking uh, spirit team is is in this motherfucking call center, okay? And I'm, I'm trying to answer all the calls. I'm trying to answer all the calls. I'm in this bitch like Stevie Wonder. Oh, if you really love me. Look, so bear with me, all right? Um, If you are new here, welcome in. You know, we appreciate, you know, your 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 patronage. Um, we do hope that you stay with us here. I do want to preface and say that this is Trillville Inter motherfucking team mint. All right. I call it like I see it literally. I'm a Virgo sun, Virgo Mercury. I be in it to win it. All right. And um, I also curse. You know, um, it's 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 all the way live here. If that's not your your mode of tarot, listen, I get it. I understand. You know, but, you know, you may not want to, this may not be your thing, you know, because I'm still going to fucking do it. All right? Um, please be aware of, mm, please be aware of scammers out here. I'm not doing general reads. So if anybody's contacting y'all about general reads, saying they me, that's not me. That's not me. I don't know them people. Report them, block them, and get on with your business. I'll put all my information below with how you can connect with me off of here, um, my social media, um, my, my, what, my, my brands, my websites, my podcasts, my membership, all of that. Um, I've already cleansed the space. I've already hollered at our ancestors and our spirit team. And while I've been sitting here talking my shit, I've been shuffling. I've already got ahead of the game. Let me go one more. I be shuffling this deck so beautifully when I don't be on camera. That is so Virgo. Ah. And then I be getting on here trying to multitask, talking. And let me see. One, two. The first, the first card that popped out was July. So I could be, you know, J July could be something. Well, of course, July is something significant in the reading. But July could be something significant to you. You could be July born. Um, it could be something that's going to occur in July. Of course, July could have some type of significance to you. You could have plans in July. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Let me do one more. Y'all know I like even numbers. All right. So our first card, July. We already touched on why that's significant. All right. Next, we have shark. Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Okay, so you, some of y'all might got some, some sharks circling around y'all. You know, like waiting on that blood. Waiting on you to have a little weakness. You know, w w waiting to send some fear. Waiting on you to stumble. Waiting on you to get wounded. Hmm. Vulture. Hmm. Yeah, y'all do. Depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. And a lot of y'all know this. A lot of y'all have some type of a feeling that this is what the energy is. And if whoever the fuck you just thought about them. Ha! Shandala Bosa Shahi. Yep. Them. You needed the you needed the sign. Here it is. Them. All right. 
Next, we have diamond. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. I just thought about a baby. I ain't trying to put that on nobody. If that's not what you want, put on you. I know I'm wanting you. But if this is something that you want put on you, congratulations. That is beautiful. I'm a mom. Should I get it? Um, Camel, persevere and you will overcome problems. Okay. Chair empty. I like this. Someone is leaving your life. Let's go ahead and get into this. I already know what's going on. I already know I'm getting the, I'm getting, I'm getting the tings. So a lot of y'all, I feel like when I first picked this card up, I just saw like a sea and just like sharks circling someone, you know, and I picked up on energy like, like blood, like, and with the blood, it's like, um, we, you know, that's failure, you know, that's death actually. You know, and you know, that's what sharks do. They circle to wait for their, their signal, which is the blood, to go in and attack. You know, oh, okay, this person is finally weak. This person is finally vulnerable. This person is finally ready to be in for the kill. And I feel like, you know, a lot of you all know this. And with this vulture energy, this could be somebody who just been taken from you. You know, a, a bleak ass motherfucker. They could look like a fucking vulture. Vulture ass looking hoe. And a lot of y'all could be having some type of anxiety about this shit. You know, like you, 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 you feel like, you know, you have that, you have that premonition and you have that intuition because a lot of these readings I've been doing has been about y'all tapping into y'all's intuition, particularly, particularly, particularly when it comes to people, energies, things, places, whatever the fuck you want to call it, that's not for your highest good, right? And I feel like, for a lot of you, this person could be, or whatever this is, is hating on you or feeling some type of way. Y'all got something coming. First of all, with this diamond life, I feel diamond life. I feel city girl. I feel a lot of y'all, you know, y'all do y'all do pretty good for yourself. Or you, you're very, you're a very abundant person. You're someone who people feel like shit just happens to you. You know, shit just falls into your fucking lap. You know, you're you're probably regarded as a diamond, treated as a diamond. You know, you could be taught you this person could know of something. You could be waiting on, I don't know, money, some type of some type of a uh some type of new favor, be it a bag, be it an opportunity, whatever. A child, whatever, a diamond, you could be getting fucking engaged, you could got married, you know, something like that. And this person, hmm, they feel some type of way. And I feel like this is the person that's leaving your fucking life with this chair empty. Yeah. And this is going to, with, with perseverance, this hump, you're going to get over this hump that you've been feeling. And July, July has some type of significance. But let me, let me uh, clarify before I go off in a motherfucking tangent. And I clarify and spirit be like, girl, what? No, boo. Let's talk about it. But that's what I was picking up on. I mean, okay. All right. So let's, let's clarify this, please, spirit. I do this it's crazy how like lately I've been just preferring the regular degular schmegular um tarot cards I like oracles but you know tarot give up that motherfucking tea um so I'm gonna do another one with strictly tarot um y'all why I tell my assistant um, to get a mop and a mop bucket from Walmart. Um, and she texted me and she was like, well, what type of, um, do you have like a preference? And I was like, just get a regular deck, um, mop and a mop bucket. And she was like, well, what, 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 what does that look like? What? And I was like, oh, what in the Cardi B? Ology? Okay. Mm. July. Okay, we clarify in July with the Six of Wands and the Emperor. You're going to be successful about, it's something about July. And this is wand energy. So you could be a Leo, a Leo, August Leo, excuse me. 
okay? But something about the significance with July, with emperor energy, this is getting on your throne, asserting yourself, being authoritative, not taking shit, dictating, you know? Uh, this is Aries energy, you know? You could also be dealing with an Aries placement. You know, the emperor, this is somebody who they assert themselves, you know, they, they, they are the alpha and the fucking omega. They, nobody is above them. You know, they're very bold. You know, they're, they're, they're very, I don't want to say aggressive in a bad way, but you're not going to run up on them. You see these rams? I, I see you, this Aries. I'm picking up on big Aries energy. Like you, you, do you know, baby, I'm a motherfucking ram. You know, what you talking about? And then the six of wands talks about success, overcoming something, having some type of a victory. Also, people applauding you, being recognized for something, some type of a favor, you know. So, um, that's for somebody for July. If you've been battling something, if you, you may, um, some of y'all might even be getting married in July. Maybe two in Aries. Hmm. Let me do some more. What's at the bottom? Happy family. Wowzer Bowsers. Ten of Cups. You know, some of you all are going to have some type of a fulfillment, some type of a happiness. You could be even having a baby, a July baby. Could be a um, a Leo, like I said, because this is Juan energy. This is Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Take it as it resonates. I'm going to leave it there. I saw the Ten of Cups. The spirit was like, and scene. Now let's talk about this take care or there will be some material or loss of material wealth. What's going on with this shark ass fucking energy? Because uh, I ain't never fucked with Baywatch. So hold up. Tell us more about this shark spirit. Please. Just take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. We are heading into Taurus season. But we are also... I'm beginning Mercury retrograde on Friday. So I'm going to tell you the significance of that. Three of Wands talks about expansion. All right, let's get to it. The significance of that is, so Taurus, let's talk about Taurus energy. Taurus energy, that's, baby, that's a luxury. I, I love, I love a fucking Taurus placement. They know where the fuck to eat. <laughs> they like comfort. <laughs> they don't like being uncomfortable. You know, they can be stubborn and they shit because it's like I'm I'm convicted in my beliefs and in my values. All right? They not with the bullshit. They not with the rah-rah. And my North Node is in Taurus. So getting with a Taurus, I already know I'm on my elevated, my ascension uh, past a, a fucking uh, an ascended Taurus. Let me say that because, you know, not all signs are. You know, some people, it, it, they, they still got some work to do to get to their highest or their higher being. Um... But anyway, so with it being Mercury retrograde, Mercury retrograde, um, when Mercury goes into retrograde, it means that retrograde begins to rotate backwards. And so you're able, because Mercury um, rules the planet of communication and technology. So because Mercury is rotating backwards, you're being able to revisit things that encompass communication technology or travel that's why a lot of times a lot of people's cars fuck up during mercury retrograde if you have travel a lot of travel plans can get wonky during mercury retrograde you know even the shadows i was in houston last week and the system was down for the tickets um for me for my um check-in um, cause with Delta, you can just scan, I'm sure with everybody, but with Delta, you can just scan. I, so I never really get a ticket printed out unless I go international, but I was just going to Houston. So I just told the lady, I was like, nope, we in the shadow period. When I went to drop my bag off and she asked me if I wanted my tickets printed. And I was like, yep, go ahead and print them. And sure enough, when I got to the TSA and they go to ask you for your, you know, your, your documentation of your ticket, um, it was like, uh, yeah, this shit is down now, but I had the paper one and I was like, don't you motherfucking worry. I reached in my motherfucking pocket like Cinderella did with the other shoe. Don't you fucking worry. Here's my ticket. Let me come on through. Let me come on through. Come on through. Yeah. Not the TSA, the pre-check. What is that? That is pre-check i mean tsa but you know what i'm trying to say yeah because i was not going through that motherfucking line uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. and that's another thing i always have 
the um just give myself a little time but i say all of that to say i'm sorry y'all i say all of that to say um be be careful about y'all spending all right especially with this this tourist season you know y'all are expanding all right, y'all are stepping out of y'all's comfort zone. You know, a lot of y'all have a lot of ships that are coming in for you, you know, because Three of Wands also talks about uh, waiting, or, you know, waiting on your ships to come in or seeing your ships come in or expanding. It talks about growth. You know, like you, you've, 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 you've come out of the two of wands energy where you're stepping out of your comfort zone and you're reaping the benefits of it, you know, and you're trying to get into the four of wands energy where you're now building that foundation, you know, but you can't build your new foundation unless you really accept and step into your expansion. Okay, so it's something about y'all's expansion right now. I don't know if it's just, okay, you expanding, maybe you making a lot more money, or maybe you have, you know, some, some opportunities, but be careful, especially when it comes to people. You know, especially when it comes to people in y'all's expansions, new, new connections, new people trying to come in and hang like a motherfucking charm on your fucking necklace and shit like that. Be careful as you expand. Be careful as you step into your expansion period. And during this Mercury retrograde period, take your time in making decisions. You know, um, when with you, if you, if you're traveling, make extra time, expect delays you know double check shit you know if shit seems too good for it to be true check it out you know just be careful during this mercury retrograde with your decisions when it comes to finances okay and it could be some shit that's coming back around from i don't know before hmm let's see anything else about shark this material wealth spirit let's see queen of wands all right i told you this is this is fire and again the fire in this okay fire leo aries sagittarius is it's it, it resonates to somebody okay so queen of wands talks about uh this is somebody who again because this is the fire energy this is somebody who's very courageous this is somebody who's very bold this is somebody who's very assertive you know but they're protected you know, they're armored. They have boundaries up with this black cat right here. You know, so this is also backing up what I'm saying. As you are expanding, as you are ascending into your queen of wands energy, because you don't have to be a Leo Aries Sagittarius placement. You can embody this energy. You know, um, remember your boundaries. Remember your worth. Remember your value. Remember what you bring to the table. You know, especially when it comes to these sharks out here. Be protective. Have your guard up. Remember who the fuck you are. We're not doing favors. We're doing business. Okay? Doing favors is how we get motherfucking fucked up. Hmm. Let's talk about vulture. That's what the next card is. Vulture. Depression. Anxiety. Worry that someone is against you. Let's talk about this motherfucker. Come on, spirit. <sighs> tell me about okay. Tell me about this worry with my boobs. Tell me about this vulture asshole. Tell me more. Tell me more. Six of Pentacles. Okay. This somebody who uh been taken more than they've been motherfucking given. What is this star in reverse? This is somebody who is impeding your healing. It could be a motherfucking Aquarius with this star energy. I just work here, y'all. I'm just trying to make some money to feed my motherfucking daughter. Don't get mad at me, you know, but we have six of pentacles and we have a star in reverse, right? Six of pentacles talks about reciprocity, giving, you know, giving and receiving balance, fairness, you know, um being in connections that are balanced and fair to you you know and this is this is libra energy here with this scale i keep looking at this scale you know but with this star card the star card is aquarius energy but it's a star card in reverse upright it talks about healing having hope for something you know wishing on a star um looking forward to your wishes being uh fulfilled 
you know, being in that transition between coming from your hurt and stepping into your new chapter of, you know, your healing and your rainbows and your starting over and, you know, what you want your new life to look like. But when this shit is in fucking reverse, guess what? That's not happening. That's not happening. It's in reverse. You know, something is cutting off some type of a healing. And I feel like it has something to do. Like I say, with this vulture, this is somebody who's taking more than they are fucking giving you. And a lot of y'all, it got you. You could be stressed out about it. I just picked up somebody mama. Could be your mama. Or you're doing too much for a friend. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a feminine. Or she could be a masculine. Okay. You got anything else you want to tell me about the vulture? Child, seven of swords. Okay. Seven of swords, sneakiness, deception. Somebody trying to get away with something. You know, somebody trying to sneak off with something. Somebody taking something. A vulture asshole. I ain't going to say it one more again. Yes, I am a vulture asshole. Look at that. This person ain't up to no good. This person taking and they taking more really than you have. They only leaving you with two. They got five in their fucking hand. And they leaving you with two. And they know what they doing because they looking back at it. Looking back at it. They know what they doing. This is a sneaky deceptive. And this is also sword energy. Sword energy is Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Take it as it resonates. And also take this as it resonates. I just work here. Don't get offended. Look, this motherfucking tiptoeing on your motherfucking marble flow. Stealing your shit, somebody walking away with all your shit. You know, what is going on? Wowzer Bowser. Wow, wow, Wubsy. What's going on? Is there a heart in the house tonight? <sighs> I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit at all. That's why I just had to drop a dime on that motherfucker. Diamond. Okay, let's talk about the D to the I to the A to the M. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. I said in the beginning that this person's circling. They may even be trying to take something from you. Tell me more about this diamond life. Put the empress. Huh. I had to put the cards back down. You are an empress, baby. Let me tell you about the empress. This is a goddess. The Empress card ascends the queens in the fucking deck. She's over the queens in the fucking deck. That lets you know what time it is. This person, she's very generous. She's very, she's very beautiful. Her energy is amazing. Everybody wants to be around her. You know, she makes everybody feel at ease. She's a divine feminine, you know. And you being the Empress, I could be talking about somebody who, look, <laughs> you, you, you ain't small potatoes, None of my boobs are small potatoes, first of all, okay? No one on the court and got swagger like us. But I feel like I'm talking to somebody, she got her shit together, okay? She's a fucking empress. She know her worth. Like, she's fucking, I don't, I don't want to say virtuous because that can mean so much to so many people. And I don't want nobody to align to what I feel is virtuous. And they on some fucking Jim Jones shit. And I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh, I'm not drinking that Kool-Aid. So I don't want to say that. But... This is somebody who I feel like a lot of people want to be around you. You know, you're, you have a very beautiful and warm spirit. You know, this is earth energy. Okay? You could be an earth sign. You know, but you know, you could love plants. You could be very you li like the outdoors, love the outdoors, love being outside. You know, but this is someone who's very fertile. You know, they're very abundant. What they, what, what they touch, you know, it multiplies. You know, being in their company, you know, it, 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 it brings value to, to your life. You know, this is, this is somebody who is of ascended energy. And you, and you, we got vulture and empress in the same motherfucking uh, spread. I don't like that. I don't like that. You know, because typically that's taking advantage. And I'm also picking up on, oh, I do it because they got it. You are the diamond. Yeah, you are the diamond. This is what's backing up. The diamond card, the empress. You'll be receiving or giving, what is it? You'll be receiving or get, giving a precious gift. And with the empress card, this is also fertility. So some of y'all are going to have a baby. 
Hmm. But tell me more. Empress card, some of you all could be starting a family. Diamond. Tell me more about this um this gift and this Empress spirit. Tell you nine of pentacles. Look, look at this. And she didn't now the empress in the fucking garden. Look, she she with the bird, everything. The nine of pentacles talks about financial independence. I'm telling you, I feel like I'm talking to a boss. You got your shit together, or you're getting your shit together. A lot of times people can see the royalty and the divinity in us before we can because we're still working to it not realizing that we're already emitting that energy right so this nine of pentacles energy talks about somebody you know who has the financial independence to stand on their own or they're very independent you know like they 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 don't they don't they're not with the codependent shit they they run to their bag Nobody's going to stop them towards their bag. They're about their money. They're about their business. They're comfortable. You know, they've reached the end of suffering with this nine energy. And, you know, they're in their energy of abundance, not really having to worry about anything. But look at her. She's able to stop, smell the fucking roses. Child, talk to birds with the fucking gloves on. Oh, with the gloves on. Not the mother. I be talking to them out on my, my sun deck. I don't be having no gloves on. Okay, she got the gloves on. She got the time for it. You know, so you have time to um, love up on yourself or really just really, you don't have to struggle I'm picking up on. You know, you, 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 you're living the diamond life I'm hearing. And you got motherfuckers in your energy. Um, and I feel like they leaving the fuck out of your energy with this chair empty. You know, they're, they've been capitalizing off of that. What's at the bottom of the deck? seven of um of cups a lot of you all you've been making decisions or you've been you've you've had friendships or you know dealings with people who maybe you haven't vetted with this seven of cups because seven of cups talks about having choices and not really having the clarity or really b being blocked emotionally you know with seeing shit and people for who the fuck they are so you don't know who to choose because you're blinded that they're in this cups is they're they're being presented to you as somebody who loves you or somebody who fucks with you, somebody who has love for you. But what look what's in that love for you? Where the hurricane at? Is one or is that in another deck? It was one, it was a damn hurricane in the one. But yeah, all of these are not good things. Look, this is a fucking dragon. This is a fortress. Some of these motherfuckers want to lock you down. You know, sting you, all of that. And look, it's cloudy. You know, all of these people coming out, giving their love to you, showing their love to you, probably because they see that you a boss. They see that you're an empress. They see you got value to you. And you're being clouded by who, can, who, who to choose, what to do, all of that. And I feel like these people are trying to be in your energy because of your value. Or you could be receiving something. It's something about, I feel like... Either y'all already bossed up, you know, whatever. But I feel like for some of you all, you're like receiving some type of a, I don't know if it's money. I don't know if it's a settlement. I don't know if it's, I don't know. Hmm. But some type of a gift. For some of you, if you're marrying someone, it could be the motherfuckers in their family. What's this? Ooh, child. Ooh, the moon and the nine of swords. Oh, a lot of y'all know who this is. A lot of y'all know who this is. With this moon energy, that's 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 illusions, truths being revealed, things being able, you seeing things in, in the darkness, you know, things being illuminated to you that you can't see, that you couldn't see. The moon card is cancer energy. Nine of fucking uh swords, that's anxiety, depression, insomnia, you know, um hurt. Just anguish, just anguishing over something, overthinking, worrying about something. A lot of y'all, I'm picking up on a lot of worry here. A lot of you all know who the fuck you need to cut off. Because, fellas, there's a jealous girl in our town. What's at the bottom now? Who child, five of swords. Somebody's been motherfucking winning at all costs with you hurting you even having glee in hurting you look at look at look at this motherfucker face glee 
Glee, because that's the only way that they feel like they can get to you because you seem to have it all. So this person is playing games. Five of fucking swords talks about winning at all costs. This is also sword energy, which is Leo. I mean, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Remember, I just work here now. But anyway, this is mental confusion. This is somebody playing mind games. This is being confused about something. You know, lacking clarity about something. But somebody really playing games, trying to win at all costs with you. You know, but 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 more 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 so having having fucking getting off on it. It's a game to them. You know, it's a fucking game to them. And this person is trying to win at all costs, and you're asking what the cost is. It's your value or whatever it is you're about to receive. But you gonna persevere and overcome the problem because I feel like a lot of y'all know who it is, and, and y'all just in the oh my god water phase, and you need to be in the child please get in this trash can phase but i mean i understand it's a process and you know it's judgment free zone over here hmm. tell me more about this camera persevere and you will overcome the problem <sighs> Mm, heartbreak. Yeah, it's a hump. A lot of y'all are getting over a hump of this heartbreak. Somebody didn't hurt you. This vulture-ass person. Somebody didn't hurt you. They didn't take advantage of you. You're an empress. You're nine of pentacles. They weren't on the up and up. You thought they was on the up and up because you was on the up and up. But this person really hurt you temperance at the bottom of the deck sagittarius energy but spirit is saying they hurt you because spirit had to step in and balance some shit out for you this is also the card of peace and fucking tranquility so this person you was with they wasn't bringing you no peace because look this motherfucker was lying manipulating you you know not on the up and up stealing from you taking from you there was no fucking reciprocity and spirit had to step in because you they were stopping you from healing they were stopping you from motherfucking getting into your bag they were stopping you from fucking uh ascending you know and on top of that they kept you in a constant state of fucking fear worry nervousness you know despair Y'all's uh, fucking emotions were not fucking regulated. Hmm. But you're getting over that hump. All right? You're getting over that hump. Spirit is saying, keep going. Keep going. Okay, so you, sir, you you coming in or you staying? Because I'm recording. The on-air sign, sign is on. Thank you. Yeah, come over here and lay down. All right, three of pentacles. Yeah, this is something that you really wanted to work out. And a lot of y'all are realizing that it's not going to work out. It's not meant to be. You know, this could either be or this a friendship. This is a... At first I was picking up on a feminine, but now I'm also picking up on a, a masculine. Lord have mercy. Yeah. But this is something that has had you worrying. Somebody who has had you worrying. Temperance in the in the reverse now. You know, you were having no peace. This situation gave you no peace. You know, this situation, you were just in balance. Mentally, emotionally, spiritually, all the leads. But you are coming over that hump. Spirit is saying, persevere. You're going to overcome the problem. This person was a vulture. This person was a shark. You know, this person, you know, picked up on your fucking weaknesses. And that's when they came in for the kill. But you persevering. It ain't a weakness no more. You're learning. You got strength now. King of Cups. Mm, some of y'all got a little love. But I feel like with this King of Cups... This is also, when I said now I'm, I'm picking up on a masculine, it's crazy how a king of cups has come out. Before, we had the empress and the nine of, um, well, no, we had the emperor 
the uh the nine of uh the swords i mean the nine of um pinnacles but i was picking up on a feminine for that so for some of you you are getting over a hump of dealing with uh, a masculine a, a, a love a love relationship you know with this king of cups cups energy you know that's our our emotions you know and cups energy that's also a uh, water sign scorpio cancer pisces you know, or I could be talking to a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Hello, step inside the room, Carla. Tell me more. Or is there any more spirit? Like, girl, you didn't got four cards. Okay, give me one more. Give me one more. Okay, what's this? Oh, two of swords and a hangman. Mm, so a lot of you, uh, this is lacking clarity here. Two of Swords talks about lacking clarity, not being able to um, make the right decision, you know, um, not having all the facts, not having, you know, not feeling like you've had the right uh, conversations, um, just feeling like you don't have all that you need to make a decision. And then Hangman Energy, this is also Sword Energy, Lord have mercy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We'll keep going. You know, started off with fire, now we doing fucking uh, air. Um, but the hangman, let's talk about the hangman. The hangman talks about um, seeing things from a different perspective. It could also talk about being stuck. But I feel like with this, um, I, I keep looking at this, this, er, this orb around his head. You know, I feel like a lot of you are transitioning or you're, this hump that you're going through is to take this fucking, um, this thing off your eye. Make you see things, enlighten you about some shit, show you some shit. You know, whatever is being revealed to you, whatever you're coming through, that hurt, that pain, is to somehow enlighten you because you haven't been able to see things clearly because you've had all this water behind you. You've been muddled in your emotions, you know, so you've been paralyzed in making your decisions what to cut off. Because look, because her her eyes are uh, covered and her, her hands are crossed over, she can't even see, you know, what to cut off. She don't even know what to throw away or what to keep. That's what I'm thinking, you know. But you all are in this camel phase, this hump phase, you know, for something about some clarity for you. And I feel like it has something to do with who the fuck needs to be leaving your life with this chair empty. Let's see, John. Now let's talk about chair empty. Oh. Thank you, Spirit. Tell me more about this chair. Okay. This chair empty. Mm. This person don't want to leave, I tell you that. Because these cards ain't trying to shuffle. Okay. Trying to shuffle. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this person don't want to leave. This person don't want to give you up. Because they look. The coin, it with this, the coin is falling out the hand. You know, they're, they're losing something valuable. You know, this person doesn't want you. This energy, whatever the fuck it is, they don't want to give you up. You know? Yeah, somebody, but also with this chair empty and somebody leaving your life, um, with this Ace of Pentacles in reverse, I also feel like this person or these people ain't no fucking value. That's why they're leaving your life. Spirit is saying, whoever's leaving your life, whatever fucking breakup, whatever the hell you've been going through and you've been boo hoo hoo hooing about it, these motherfuckers ain't don't mean you no good. These motherfuckers don't 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 bring you no motherfucking sunshine. Okay, all they bring you is sneaky motherfucking deaky freaky. I should tell my assistant to go pick that up at the Sam's. <laughs> she like, what's that? <laughs> yeah, and I feel like because the hermit card just flipped up. A lot of you all are being, you know, guided into some type of a period to be introspective, to heal, to learn. Some of you all, you know, may be feeling like you want to go into some type of a hermit mode. You know, do less talking, do more learning. Learn some things about yourself. Have some aha moments. Gain some wisdom. You know, because a hermit is also somebody who's very, they, they, they have a lot of wisdom. You know, because they've been through some shit. They're older. They're wiser. And I feel like that's you all. You all are getting older and wiser. You know, this was, this was some type of a learning experience for you. Anything else? Yeah, of course, we got something else. Only been one card. But yeah, 
whoever is leaving your life or whatever is leaving your life, a job, friend, family, foho, they, it's, it's no value in it. Oh, oh, child, these motherfuckers must be getting the fuck. Got up and got herself out of there. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing, the chariot. Spirit is saying it's time to move forward. Okay, empty them chairs and move the fuck forward. The chariot talks about forward moving. You know, being guided out of something. You know, spirit guiding you out of something. And a lot of y'all probably leaving with a grand fucking exit. This person might be leaving with a grand fucking exit. Hmm. Anything else we have for chair empty spirit? Anything else we have for chair and tea spirit? Talk to me, talk through me. Talk to me, talk through me. Mm. <sighs> the lovers and the deaf. Yeah. Who y'all break up with? They got y'all feeling some type of way. Death. Death card, that's Scorpio energy. But yeah, a lot of you all are having some type of a death with um, a boo thing. And remember, the eclipse is what, tomorrow? And it's an eclipse um, in Aries. So you, like I said, with this Aries energy, I'm just saying. But that means that's the death. The eclipse energy, I've already talked to y'all about eclipse energy in my other videos, especially my most recent one. So I'm not going to beat you in the head about that. Um, I think the one yesterday, so y'all already know. But, baby, like I say, the clips is like, mama, when you don't want to come, oh, mama, just come on in and be like, okay, all this shit going in the trash. Okay? Spirit is coming in to wave the death flag on a lot of motherfucking relationships. Okay? Especially lovers. All right. I mean... I hope these messages have resonated for you all. If they have, let me know below. Okay? Also, remember to give me a thumbs up if you fuck with the video because it really helps the channel and the algorithm. Um, I will leave my information below with how you can connect with me off of here to include my various social media, um, my brands, my websites, um, my membership, my podcast, all that jazz. Okay? Um, and also my tip jar, if you all want to bless your girl, you know, um, thank y'all so much for tuning in to A. Nicole Tarot. I am your girl, A. Nicole, um, and I will catch y'all next time. Bye.